Hello there, and welcome back to Satisfactory Years. <laughs> back on good old Satisfactory, ready for another day. Ready to continue on uh, where we left off last time, which was building this massive rail network we're trying to get uh, trying to get done. I did um, bring back a bunch of stuff as I was building um, and tearing down trees and bushes and stuff. Put down a sink and a box and all that good stuff. And yeah, we're back on here, back on our modded playthrough. And if you'd like to know what those mods are, the mods list is down in the description section of the video, along with a link to Satisfactory Mod Manager. So you can download and install, for that, and install mods for yourself. There we go. <laughs> Jeez. Yeah, I'm not in focus today, apparently. But uh, yeah, I have been uh, working pretty hard in between episodes here. Um, just to start out with, we're going to go take a quick look over the edge here. Um, I did finish uh, detailing the tower for the for the most part. There really isn't much else I can do. Um, I did put down these like little things here um, all along this track section, so it looks supported and all that stuff. And uh, if we go off the edge here, all that goes all the way down there. Uh, <laughs> so it's all connected up, ready to uh, ready to go. There's our massive city in the background. And I did a little bit to that uh, train station down there. So now we have this, um, the highway that connects to itself and uh, goes off that way. And there's our truck down there. We're actually going to be making our way down there. Uh, we should have these, yeah. Okay, yeah. <laughs> Don't worry, we'll survive the fall. Um, the first one, anyway. Just a uh, half a heart. We'll heal up real quick. I needed to come down here to grab this. But yeah, I went ahead and got this um, kind of planned out somewhat and built. So both highways are going to convene, like right here at this intersection here. And then uh, you'll drive off and you'll go into that cave, which is where our, uh, some, of our, some of our uranium is going to come from. I don't know, if that's a, through, if that's a, a completely through cave, I might just put a station down. Um, and then just run a train through there and pull from another area uh, for uranium. We'll see. But I also did this as well. But there's a reason I'm down here. And that is so I can grab... Because uh, I completely forgot I wanted to grab these things um, as well. I want to grab all these beams because we're going to need them. <laughs> We're definitely going to need them for this episode. Um, including, if I have the materials for what, including a construction train that we're going to need. Um, we're going to need 10 more motors. Well, no, we'll just need the, the one car, but if we got the 10 motors, I'll take it. Um, so yeah, we're going to be running a construction train. Do I have the 10 motors? I do not. Okay. Do I at least have enough for a a uh, car here? Let's see. A freight car. Yeah, I do have enough for that. Okay, good. Um, now we're going to open the inventory and we're going to fill this with beams. Um, I don't know if I... I don't, wanna, I don't want it to go into a little box. Okay, we're good. Oops. Alright, so, yeah, that's today's plan is to... Uh, uh, get as far as I can with the train. I'm also going to put some concrete, some more concrete in there too. Um, we'll grab this stuff we're probably going to need. Um, I'll fill up on that. I don't think we'll need any computers because we got plenty of computers. Uh, I'm going to grab some more concrete, yeah. Fill up on concrete. Okay. Because we're getting further and further away um, from our resources that we need. <laughs> so we're going to have to start making more and more trips. Um, I'm going to go grab a, a little bit more concrete out of this truck here. I went and did a little a little run for concrete uh, with the trucks. So. I'll just take all of it. Why not? Is there anything else I could need? Oh, those frames. We're going to need those frames. Oh yeah, what else does the miners need? Um, make sure we grab that. Frames. Okay. And then, oh wait. Uh, then 
rods and, and plates. Um, we got plenty of these. I'm going to put that and I'll take that with me. Um, I'm going to put back a stack of rubber and a stack of plastic for right now. Because uh, we are not going to need that. Um, and I'll put this and take a stack of computers. Um, yeah, we're just... Yeah, looks good. And there's nothing else we need from there. Um, nothing else we're carrying. Uh, okay. Just uh, loading up here, ready to go. Um, I did. So I did. Uh, well, I did do what I said I was going to do as well. Um, and I uh, built the track in between uh, stations. Um, I wonder how fast this will go up the spiral. This one doesn't. This is not a modded train, so it doesn't have that uh, limit on it. Yeah, it looks about 97%. Yeah, this looks like it's about as fast as it's gonna go. Okay. At the top. <laughs> it's quite a ways. Should be good. Okay, now we need to go right here. Actually, all these arrows are already ready to go. <laughs> Got ourselves a little bit of a construction train, I guess you could say. Take it right here as well. Round we go. <laughs> So I built all this track um, and all the supports for it as well. Got it to go through. And here's our little area. I got this. Uh, this is mostly finished. It's not entirely finished, but. And then, like I said, I was going to shrink down the train. Uh, uh, the train station kind of foundation size. So I got that. Okay. Nice. And that's what we're here for. Still working. I didn't hear anything, so I was like, eh. Okay. So we're going to be hooking up because uh, we have power to this train station now. So we're going to be, um, as you can see, we got power here. This is going, to, I don't, this is going to be the last one in the station, so we're going to have that as last, last name there. Um,. Yeah, for all the tracks we had put down, I put down all the supports. Okay. It, sorry about this. This my PC starting to man. It's it's not it's not looking good. <laughs> it's not looking good at all. Uh, it's like every time I alt tab. I don't know if you guys end up seeing that or not. I don't know if you do or not. Hopefully not. Hopefully you don't see the flashing every time I tab out. It's doing that again. It was doing that last time, too. Or not last time, but it was doing that before, and now it's just doing it again. Anyway. Uh, so we got so we got this. This has got power, so we're going to be pulling power from here, and we're going to be hooking all this up to all these different miners um, that we've got around the place. So we're going to scan... Obviously, we have one there. Um, we have one right over here, uh, which is actually up there. I remember that one now, um, as well as there's one over there. And there's one about 700 meters that way. Oops. I hit the map. Map! Okay, so we'll pull that one as well. That one's a normal. But yeah, we're going to pull this one as well. Um, maybe. Well, how many are how many are here? If there's five here, then we, I won't worry about it. But okay, so we've got one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, we'll pull that one as well. Um, 
I don't know where that one is, to be honest. I wonder if he followed this, like, up here, if that's where it is. We'll see. So you've got one over here on this side. So here's the train station. You've got one over here, one over here, one over here. And then one up here, um, which is up there. I do remember that point. Um, we're going to have to bring it down with conveyor lifts. And this is why I brought, like, everything. <laughs> brought the everything here. It's just because of the amount of amount, the amount we're going to need. So I wanna pull I wanna pull down this, I wanna use this column as like support, but you got this as well. Let's see, where's this gonna end up? So it's cool we can use the camera. Is that where we want it? Yeah, that's actually where I want that. Okay. We'll just leave that and then we'll, we'll get rid of this. Okay. So we want to run the belts down on this side. So there's probably going to be more than one if that ends up being what I think it's going to be. Um, yeah, so the belt's going to come down. It's not going to come down all the way. It'll just it'll come down to where... Uh, the top of this train is. So something like that. Let's see. We do foundations. Let me select that. Okay, that goes right over the train, so it'll have enough clearance. Okay. Yeah, so we can... Uh, we can bring it down and then put it in line with, uh, with this. If I can get up there. Use the train as a way of jumping up. <laughs> Eventually we're gonna have our freaking bauxite to where we can start making aluminum, but this is going to be, this is gonna be an issue for quite a while. <laughs> on how much, how much is gonna be needed here. Um, You know what I was thinking about doing as well? Would that even would that even work? Or would it just look weird? I mean, it's it's gonna look weird no matter what, right? Eh, we we won't worry about it. Ooh, I just yeah, that that'll work. Sorry, my brain is like. Try this, try that, try this, try that. <laughs> and I'm just like, I don't know. Oh, we're going to need our... Uh, do a bit more. The rest of this, pretty much, can be that. We want to be on the edge here, because we're going to need to put... Um, This is gonna be it, so. Oh, I keep forgetting. Um, how high can these go? I keep forgetting that we can we can extend these forever. Uh, one, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, ten. It's like ten foundations, probably. Like if we were two. I'll just go ahead for five, why not? Put in our floor holes here, conveyor. Floor hole, yep. That's exactly what I want. I'm gonna put these on the edge so that I can have room for electricity. One meter. Okay. Go 
back to foundations. I'm freaking 14 under hours and I look like a freaking noob, huh? That's <laughs> just how, that's how my life is. People are going to be like, there's no way he has 1400 hours in this game. That's not possible. Not with the way, not with the way things are going. <laughs> and I'm just like, I know. It, it, it seems... Uh, seems like an impossibility. With uh, the way I play this game. Okay, that should be right at the top, so... Alright. So then we'll do... So the reason I'm putting one at the top is, uh... There's actually a very specific way... Um... That, uh, you can... You can put this to where the... The, uh... The lift part of the belt, this... This part, this flat spot... Um, can be right up against the... The stuff, so... Oh, whoops, I might have put that backwards. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I did. Let's go out this way. So I think I'm going to run a two belt. I'm not really sure. We're just going we're just going to run a two belt and call it good. It should be a snap. Snap. I'm listening for the the game noise. A little boop, boop. Okay. That should be good. Then what we can do is we can run power. Um, just right along beside it. All right, where's my ladder going to be? So, architecture... I actually need to put my ladder down there. Texture and ladder. So yeah, I actually kind of uh, somewhat figured out um, the reason behind my, uh, my crashing when it rains in this game. Kind of. Like, it, what I mean by when I figured it out, I I mean that I figured out what I need to do and what I need to avoid doing. So, uh, every time it rains, if I'm using the F key or I'm using the materials key, which changes the materials of a foundation, a particular foundation, if I'm deleting a foundation or I'm changing the material of a foundation, if I do that while it's raining, it causes the game to freeze. Not like this. Uh, this is the autosave, but yeah, it causes the game to freeze. And I don't. And again, I don't know if that's due to a mod. Oh, that's not. That's not connected. <laughs> it's okay. There we go. Um, I don't know if that's due to a mod or not. I'm not really sure, but uh, it uh, definitely is due to something. And. So if it's ever raining, I have to, um, I have to not use the F key or be using the materials key. From what I've tested, this is the, this is the case. Um, I'm actually going to bring the belts upwards like this. Um. Just need to get them turned 90 degrees and then go from there. Probably using, I'm probably like sticking through it, I'm not really sure. Eh, it's not too bad. Okay. Oh. Yeah, there's, oh, there it is. Oh, it's over there. Oh. Oops. <laughs> Gee. I thought it was over here. Let's see. 
I'm going to put a foundation there. And then we're going to scale up to this area. That's pretty close. If I put a one meter on that. Is that too high? That might be too high. No, actually. Oz, damn close. Okay. Look at that. It's just ever so slightly off. <laughs> That's actually not bad, though. Yeah. Uh, we'll mine from here and then bring it across here. Um. I didn't, yeah, I did not realize that it was going to be like that. Okay. So we'll, we'll make it look like it's attached here. Uh, or s we'll do something. I actually don't know where that thing is that's um, making that noise. You are so lucky that you found this most valuable artifact. Oh, is it up there? I think I see it up there. Yeah, I gotta get rid of that or that's gonna drive me absolutely batty. Oh, um... So yeah, um... I know I talk about, uh... You know, I've been... I've been uh, trying to get this... Trying to get this going, but... Yeah, a friend of mine is having a lot of, uh... A lot of, uh... Financial issues this month and was asking for help. Um, and asked me to... Uh, put that stuff um, on the YouTube channel, so I went ahead. So I'm going ahead and doing that. And, um, annoying message. Hello, this is Patrol <sighs> You're I annoying. I need your help to find a cure. Doctors say that the only remedy is alien artifacts. Okay, now shut up. I'm trying to talk. <laughs> Run the tight forest. That's what all these trees are about. Um. Yeah, they were having some, fi or they're having some, they, it's not that they were, they, they are having some financial issues when it comes to, uh, when it comes to that, paying bills and stuff, and they asked me to, uh, use my YouTube channel to, uh, hopefully get them a helping hand, which I do hope that, uh, that they get, so. Yeah, if you're feeling generous, um, and want to help them out, uh, the link, uh, for, for donating is down in the description. Um, it's all by itself. You can't miss it. So, like, I kind of, I kind of boxed it in a little bit. So, um, so, so it's easy. So it draws your eye, and it's easy to find and stuff like that. So, yeah. Uh, just um, was gonna mention it at the beginning, and then I got distracted. That's how. That's how I am. <laughs> it's not that I, you know, it's 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 not that I don't care or anything. It's just I. I am very easily distracted when it comes to a lot of these things. So. Okay. So we're going to put this here, and then we're going to put these here, and they're just going to have to go across without any supporting. Oh, wait. It's only one. Wait. Is this, this is a normal, isn't it? Yeah, this is a normal. So one belt will we'll belt, one belt will suffice. Um, so we're gonna put a mine up here. Yeah, the other there was one other thing I was gonna mention and I completely forgot. I don't, again, don't ask me why I forget these things. I just I always have so much going on that I just forget. <laughs> and, and you know, and I hopefully I'll remember it later. And again, it's not because I don't care or anything. It's just because I just... My brain doesn't work correctly like it should. You know, like normal people where they, they take stuff and they remember it. You know. Oh, whoops. We're on the... Need to be on the equipment bench. But yeah, I, was, uh, I got back into playing Seven Days. Uh, seven Days to Die again a little bit. Um, at least I was, I was playing with... Um, uh, Stu on his, uh, on his stream yesterday. Um, or the day before yesterday. Yeah, because this goes out Tuesday. Correct. Uh, we need to make... Oh, we don't have the room. I'm just gonna have to, we're gonna have to drop something. Something that isn't, uh...
Something that I'm not going to care about in these frames. Sure. But yeah, I was uh, playing Seven Days to Die with him because he, um, he's like, yeah, you know, if people want to join. He's like, go ahead. And I'm just like, well, I haven't played Seven Days in years, so let me let me hop on there, and give him a, you know, give him a little bit of a hand. Night Seven, his first Night Seven. Actually went pretty well, which was awesome. Okay, okay. Ooh, I have an idea. What if I just do that? Can I? Ugh. I'm gonna pull this through the concrete. Um, right there. Um, where is it? So. A conveyor floor hole. Is it gonna be here? Where's it gonna be? It's gonna be here. Okay. And then. Anyway, yeah. So. If you wanna go and watch that where we were, where we were playing that game, it was quite fun. It was a, it was a very um, enjoyable experience. Still want. Yeah, we have to do this. And the reason being is because I, st I still want. Um, I still want to be able to put a ladder here so I can get back here if I if I need to. Um, so I can put a, so have a surface to put a ladder on. Okay, now we can pick up, pick up our frames again. Um, but yeah, it was it was pretty enjoyable. I definitely enjoyed playing that game again. It's it is one of those games that I, I was very worried about because um, I've had issues with it when it comes to hardware. I've had friends that have had the issues with it when it comes to hardware. It's just because the, the game was so unoptimized and it would just it would eat resources randomly, like it would just or it would overheat things like for no reason. Like, there's no reason why it should be overheating. It just wasn't... It just wasn't having... Wasn't having it. Yeah, I was having problems with graphics card. I had a problem with, um... My i7 as well. Uh, when I first got it. My first... Uh, when I first got my i7. Um, seven days to die. And I hadn't changed cooling types. All I did was swap it from the i5 in my PC. I swapped... I swapped the cooling system... And the, um, and of course the, the CPU in the PC itself. I just swapped from an i5 to an i7, um, and the i5 was running at, uh, at, you know, 95C. <laughs> and the i7 was running at 95C. It made no sense why, why it was still, why, you know, you'd expect with the, with the higher CPU, it, uh, would overheat more. Or anything like that and it just for some reason ran the cpus up um and then th just this that, that this word doesn't make sense right you're like okay yeah, it runs at 95 c just just the way the game is oh, that does make sense but uh, here's where it doesn't here uh here's where it doesn't make sense when i was uh on his stream and i was playing the game it uh my CPU is running at uh, about 75 to 80 C, and it's the exact same CPU. So, what's that about? <laughs> it's like, did they optimize it more? Probably. Uh, that's the only thing that makes sense. But yeah, it's just that, and um, yeah, all the temps were running pretty good, so I don't, I don't think it was any issues there. I just I just got to be careful with it because I know that it does have issues with CPU. 
uh, or not CPU, well, maybe CPU as well, but I know that it does have issues with, with temperatures and stuff, just from experience, so, just like, I didn't want to ever play it again, plus, you know, I, I could talk about all I want in the 70s here, I, I didn't want to get into it on his channel, uh, or on his uh, stream. the way I want this I suppose I don't know how I'm gonna get over here um. oh wait we should leave this until we're done but, uh, yeah, I didn't want to get on it get into it on his stream about my feelings on seven days like I you know seven days is a good game it's just um, it's the developers <laughs> the developers irritate me sometimes. It's just every time. I don't even know why I'm talking about it, but just every time you get the game figured out, like okay, and, and you start actually surviving the game, you, you actually start being good at the game. They would change it. They would change how stuff works. They'd make it. They make it harder and harder and harder every single update, every single alpha that they that comes out the game is all of a sudden harder or it's different in, in some major way and then you have to completely it's about completely relearn the game again um, just every single time and I pl I've been playing since about alpha 14 or 15 I can't I can't exactly remember when I was playing um, or when I started playing I think it was maybe alpha 15 the thing is, I uh, just at the tail end of Alpha 15 into Alpha 16, uh, something like that, anyway. And yeah, and it's just like, oh yeah, you guys, you guys found a, a a decent way to survive, so you can survive the game and get higher levels, and you know, you got it all figured out. How about we make it, we change it, we make it harder, because the game's not hard enough for our liking. It's like okay, the first couple of times it's just like okay, you're fixing you know little loopholes and stuff like that that. You know, oh, if I if I'm underground far enough, the zombies are never gonna get to me. Or if I'm, you know, so it's just like, okay, the zombies are in a dig. It's like, eh, eh, I kind of am against that, but you know, I can understand. And just certain little things, and it just, um, you know, when you look at each individual little thing that they did, it doesn't seem too bad. But when you start, or when you when you look at it as a whole, uh, on how the game is and stuff like that start to you start to pick up on the fact that they just they just don't want you being able to complete the game um, they they want you to just it's almost like they want you to be turned off from the game and never play it again at least that's what it feels like and uh, I guess that's that's kind of why plus the game has been it's been in it's been in early access like and I've talked about this before, you know, early access, it's a great way for uh, for game developers to get their games out and... Oops. Let's go over slightly. Um, for them to get their games out and be able to be able to play, or be able to have people play their game, even when it's not finished and stuff like that. And that's a great, it's a great thing. But uh, when you abuse the system... <laughs> You abuse the system to the point where you've been in early access for over ten years. You know, you know, there, there's a point. There's a there should be a limit. <laughs> maybe, maybe ten years should be the limit of early access. And then the game just gets taken out of early access, and they call and they call it complete because you're abusing the system after that point. And and, and you know because it's just like. Um, the game, you know, the game has gone through many, many iterations of itself to make it up, kind of more up to the times of, like, graphics and stuff like that. It's just, it's just like, <sighs> it's like, come on, guys, finish the game, move on to, like, me, I'd be completely 100% fine if they, if they just said, okay, we're done, we're done with Seven Days to Die, we're going to make Seven Days to Die 2. I'd be 100% completely fine with that, but it just it just doesn't seem like they want the they, they want to finish the game. They just want to keep changing it. 
so that people have to so that people keep coming back to play it um, to see what the new changes are. Like they're they're using that system in order to keep keep the player base uh, on their game. They just keep changing the game majorly to keep people coming back to it. I'm, I don't I don't really know um, my feelings on that. <laughs> like it seems a little bit I don't know. It seems a little bit too much. Like I definitely agree that the game is itself like a lot of the stuff is better than it than it used to be. Um game definitely has more to it and stuff like that but like I said there, there's got to be a there's got to be a point to where you just you just go okay you guys can't be can't be in early access anymore <laughs> you have been in early access for this long you have used you know that to keep your to, to keep your game <laughs> in that state you know maybe we should maybe you should move on to better things <laughs> I don't know like I said, I, I'm not really sure um, my entire feelings on it, but uh, yeah, this is it, and that's a very rare case, of course. I mean, some people don't want the game to be completed. You know, some people want the game to stay in early access forever and then to keep changing it over and over and over again. Just for me personally, I'm just like I'm so, I'm, I'm over it. I think is the I think I'm over it. But the only reason I'm playing it again is because, you know, a friend is playing it. I'm just like, yeah, I want to hop. I want to get in on that. Um, stuff like that, too. I want to, you know, be able to help him out with the game and stuff like that, since I have so many hours. That's the only reason I'm playing it again. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not going to turn it. I'm not going to hop into it and do a series on it or anything like that. Not unless they finish the game. If they finish the game after Alpha 21, they say, "Okay, yeah, we're done with it. We got all the bugs out. We want the game is the game is finished. We're done. We're done with the game. We're going to move on to better things, or move on to different things. So, you know, whatever, whatever. Um, I I would be like, okay, awesome. Um, I will uh, I will turn this or I will pull the game out, do a series on it." Is the train going to hit this? I think it's the train's going to hit this. Make sure. And that's just my feelings on seven days. It's just... And it's, it, you know, it's not like the company is the same as it was when they started it, either. Like, you know, I, I think I'd be more acceptable of them being in early access as long if they were you know, five people, ten people strong. But reportedly they have over 70 employees. That's from them themselves. Uh, they've said publicly that they have over 70 employees now. Which is great, but... <laughs> each alpha takes just as long, just about. And the game is not really making much progress. I'll add a few little things here, they'll change a few things, piss a few people off, and then, you know, move on to the next. <laughs> I don't know. So that's just my personal opinion on it. Don't don't take it personally. Okay. <laughs> that's what I... So I, I, I need to start saying that a lot more. It's just like, this is my opinion. Do not take it personally. Do not go... Do not turn this into a war. Some people do. Not saying that anybody here does. I'm just saying that's just how some. That's just how it goes sometimes. I think I'm gonna do this. Just you know, just because I don't like the game doesn't mean you're a horrible person for loving the game, and you know, you're a horrible person for disagreeing with me. That's not the case at all. And. On that same token, I'm not a horrible person for not liking the game you know, anymore. Other game is fun, yeah, you know. It's just like, oh yeah, this is this is, uh, this is a, it's a, it's a good survival 
game. It just... I think it needs to be capped. Um, it just needs to be finished. So they can move on to a, another game. Because honestly, if I was in that position, I'd be like, okay, let's, let's finish the game. Let's call it here. Ten years is long enough. Finish the game here, and then we'll go and make Seven Days to Die 2, and then We'll take all the ideas, all the experiences, all the, you know, all the good stuff about Seven Days to Die that people love. We'll take that and make it into a new game, a sequel, or, you know, thereabouts. What it, it doesn't have to be a sequel. It'll just be a, another game, another zombie game, if you like. Um, we'll take that and the platform that we have now that's working. Take everything that's working currently right now and then make a new game with it. Stuff like that. I mean, I guess at least I'll say this as much. Um, they can be praised for not not doing DLC for this game. No, not, <laughs> for, for so days, not doing uh, not making people pay for these updates. You know, stuff like that. Like uh, a lot of other companies do. <laughs> they, uh, yeah, I'll praise them for that because. And that's that's something they absolutely could have done at this point. It's just like, oh yeah, Alpha Twenty One, you pay you know five bucks or whatever for the update for all the new stuff and and whatnot. Put it in, and call it a content pack, and uh, pay for that. I probably shouldn't be giving them ideas. <laughs> now I don't I don't know if they did that though. They haven't so far. And, uh, and whatnot. They could, they could have absolutely done that. They haven't. They, all the updates have been free. And I'm not saying the updates themselves um, are necessarily a bad thing either. That's not um, not my point here. My point is just that it seems like they're abusing the system a little bit. And that uh, and they just they just need to call it and move on to the next one. As well as stop, stop going through and um, online finding you know the ways people are surviving in the game and then just getting rid of that system or making that system harder to achieve you know stop changing the game to make it harder and harder and harder like yeah you can do whatever you want with your game it's your game it's fine hey we're getting uh good i'm glad that works <laughs> we need to go overclock that actually don't we we have our, yeah, we did. Okay, let's do that. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm fine with them fixing exploits, uh, you know, and stuff like that. But when it's not exploits, when, it, when it's, you know, legitimately using the game's mechanics to help you survive, then it's just like, oh, you're surviving too easily now. We're going to remove that and we're going to make it harder. Um, you know, that kind of stuff just irritates me. It's just like, Okay, so you really hate your player base, then. <laughs> You're just like, how dare, how dare you play our game legitimately and survive? <laughs> so that's what it feels like. Oh, why did I do that? Because I'm an idiot, that's why. Anyway, we started mining... Uh... This is our first mine, by the way, this, this box site. And again, yeah, you can absolutely disagree with me and voice it in the comments. It's fine. <laughs> I'm not gonna go. How dare you disagree with me? I'm not that type of person. <laughs> I'm the type of person that goes, "Yeah, well, I think you're wrong, but it's okay. It's okay. We can, we can, we can cope." <laughs> oh yeah, let's find out. Um, Talking about seven days too much. I'm not talking about satisfactory. Uh, I, I I go off on rant sometimes, so apologies for that. <laughs> I I do apologize for that. Just sometimes I'm doing something mind numbing, so I need to I need to fill the space. Uh, I will admit, fill the space. Ah, there it 
this. Okay. I don't know where this is at, so I'm gonna. If it hopefully it's in here somewhere, or it's on top of this, or. It on top then. I wish I could. No. <laughs> I think we need to go up and over. I don't remember this one. If I, I don't, I think I said nah. This one's too far away. Last time. Okay, I'm gonna put a foundation. We'll grab a ladder. I'm sure people know the one I'm going for, and they're just like, "Nah, you're 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 stupid. Like, what what are you doing? What are you doing with your life?" And I'm like, "I don't know. I'm sorry." <laughs> Only wanted one thing. <laughs> anyway, I'm hoping this is where this is at. It's it's, it's up here at the top. I'm starting to have memories about this box site. Starting, it's starting to come to come back to me. Just looking out for holes here. Okay, this one's in the red forest. Oh, radiation! I don't have a suit. Oh, uh, that. <laughs> I did that exact thing. <laughs> this this area is getting updated too. I think, isn't it? It's a lot of radiation here. It's okay. We got we got heals. Okay, no, this one's not. This was not what I thought it was. All right, we're gonna put a miner here. Just a minor inconvenience. <laughs> Look at all these smooth rocks. It's crazy. Ow! It's radiation. It's, it hurts. <laughs> Okay, so bring that up one, or no, we can leave it there, and then we need to put one right here. Yeah, just like that. I don't know if the belt will reach, but we'll we'll try. We'll try. Um, the red logistics. Put one of these. Oh, boys, I oh, can see the train station down. There. Oh, that's the big one. Yeah, that's our big hub station. Like I said, I don't know if the belt will reach, but we'll try. Oh. First we got some auto save lag. <laughs> so we'll bring power up one side and and uh, the belts on the other. Okay. Foundation. That just sticks. Got this floor hole here. Oh, no, it is. It is this one. Okay. There we go. Yeah, I'm gonna bring it to here. Let's just make that look like that's supported. Okay. Let's see if this will reach up there. Oh, okay, so we're gonna need something in between somewhere. Probably here. It's gonna be like the trains. <laughs> I 
just stacks. Oh, this one needs to be paved. Actually, I might move this one back one. To here. it won't work. Whatever. Okay. Yeah, that works. Alright, um, and then box eye. Scan the box eye. I need to know exactly. So it's, it's off this way. So we'll go right over by this rock here. Okay. And then, oops. Keep again. I need to stay on logistics. need to start using my hot bar. <laughs> oh, this is going to reach. So in line with this. That's pretty good. And it's not gonna look perfect, but I don't know if my belts will reach that far, but we'll try. Actually, I, I doubt it. <laughs> There's right a lot of radiation here. So. Just gonna have to keep an eye on our health. And no, I can't pick that up to make it go away. If I do that, I'll, I'll be dead. <laughs> I will die. <laughs> Actually, I should probably figure out exactly about how far we want to go. How are you doing this? Probably going to put one here on this bank. down those bamboo trees, unfortunately. We might get rid of the big tree as well, and I don't want to do that. So, I'm going to try... Careful here. Oh, it took down the big tree. Oh, well. We tried. Ouch. Okay. So then we got that. Now we just gotta get the miner down. Uh, 
that's under production, of course. Production, we gotta do this. As well. So I don't have enough. So we gotta make uh, these two. I don't know why they don't stack, but whatever. <laughs> the game is just weird like that. I want to go over here and get this pointed. Yeah, just like that. All right. It's actually pointed about right. put down like a little beam support just for fun. Okay, a bigger bigger small pillar support. Now what we do is do this. A little further back. It's actually about there. Was it far enough in? Actually, actually does work. Okay. We'll grab power from there. And we're gonna pull power up here. From there, go up here. Get some more radiation poisoning. like the forest. Yeah. Actually, I forgot. I just forgot one more thing. Eh. Oh, I don't want to remember that. But I don't want to have to come back out here, so... <laughs> we'll overclock that, and then... To come back out this way, just be done with it. Once it's once it's done, it's done. Well, that'll be just about an episode, a very probably rage-inducing episode for some people, because <laughs> I talk about stuff. I try not to talk about stuff like that all the time. Yeah, you know, I really don't like talk about certain things, but sometimes it's just like. Yeah, I just, I have to talk about this now. <laughs> go down. Actually, I need to go all the way down and then figure out 
exactly where we want stuff. So probably just the lift itself will probably work, right? It's about there. Okay. And yeah, we'll just pull power over the edge and then all the way down. Perfect. Probably gonna be about there. Ish. Because then I'd be perfect. Let's figure out how far we can go with our belt here. We still got a little ways to go, but. So right about here-ish. Conditions. Okay. And similarly, the power should be able to reach this far. Okay. Actually, was a little bit low when I dropped that stuff, but oh well. I ain't fixing it now. Like, nope, not fixing it. It's about here-ish, then. Yeah. yeah you can't go very far. Sheesh. <laughs> Tried to connect to the tree there. They're supposedly going to be fixing the um, the uh, Titan trees as well. Supposedly, where the uh, the branches and stuff will actually the, the collisions will be correct on that type of stuff. Should be should be pretty good. I should have rotated that one. Yeah, because it's getting ready to go that way. So. They're probably going to turn it again. That's actually what we wanted. Perfect. Belt is too long. Yes. on that. <laughs> Must have been just perfectly. Like just a few pixels too long then. Okay. Getting there. We are almost there. Go to right about here then. Let's go back a little bit. I also see another orb thing over there. So that's where that's where that one was. Okay. We'll grab that on our way by.
<laughs> this belt's going a long way. But I'm not gonna I'm not about to put a power state or power station. I'm not about to put a, a train station for one miner. Nope. Not happening. And plus imagine getting the train over here. That'd be just insane. I may be flaunting my rules a little bit when it comes to the train stuff, but eh? <laughs> does it really matter in the end? Like just as long as I follow the rules mostly. <laughs> it's probably multiple fix it personnel in the area. Proceed with harvest before it's too late. Oh, there's only one person here. I play single player. Especially mods. This game's already unstable when it comes to multiplayer, so. For some reason I could connect to that. I don't know why. That's okay. Probably gonna be going over time just a little bit, but eh. A little bit's fine. Okay, put a foundation. Just over here, so we're gonna grab it. And the Mercer Sphere. Alright. Okay. Now that won't be talking to us anymore. Probably gonna go right about to uh, right about here. And then a two. We should be able to just go right here. At least we hope. Anyway. Oops. Oh, these ones we can't put the little support on them because they're right on the edge. That's okay. Okay. <laughs> that damn auto save, man. Good. So now we're gonna go to there. And that should turn on that miner. Should be seeing um, some bauxite coming here soon. <laughs> I don't know if you, I don't know if the animations register that far away. I was like, maybe we'll see it in the lift, but I'm not really so sure. Nah, I don't see it. sit here and wait make sure the box I can get to us I 
don't know, is it working? <laughs> Did I forget a belt somewhere? I don't think so. I see it coming. See it over there? You can see kind of the orange stripe between those two power poles on the far left. Actually, yeah, you can see the animation going. That is correct. Oh, here it comes. Yeah. And there she goes. All the way down to the bottom. So we eat. Perfect. I'll just head back down and we'll get these hooked up to these uh, to this station and then we'll call it an episode. Whoa. I wanna climb down, not fall down. Not today anyway. <laughs> weird. No idea why, but all of a sudden I just fell off the ladder. Must have slipped. <laughs> oh, this one's a pain in the butt because, um, let's see, both of these are 600. They're 300 each, right? Yeah, because they're normal. Putting the, combining them to one belt might be advisable. I'm not really sure because there's a there's going to be an interesting thing about these. Um, well, not only that as well. Is that correct? Okay, we're gonna have we're gonna have to put down the, um, the this again across there. Get rid of this one. So what we'll do is we'll bring both belts across. Whoop. We go up a little higher. What the? It just kicks me off. Is it because I turn around too quickly? Right, stop. Turn around. <laughs> Don't know what's going on there. Um. Okay, these are at the correct levels. But yeah, I need to combine these. Because of the input. So, until we get Mark 5 belts on these, it'll be... a little slower. It'll be at the max speed that the Mark 4 belt can go. Which is fine, I suppose. Because we got two more miners to put on this train station as well. Uh, what am I looking for? Merger, that's what I'm looking for. Right, conveyor merger. One belt. One belt. Nope. I'll start filling the station up. So we And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go architecture. I'm gonna grab a small pillar support. that's where it is, or is that slightly, slightly off? So yeah, and the train's not going to hit it, so it should be fine. Small concrete pillar. There we go. <laughs> and then that's supported. Okay. That works. 
problems there. And the reason I'm, I'm expressing concerns is because I need to um, need to do this, but at the same time be having this belt go like this, and then this belt go like this, this belt go like this. Eh, I don't think it'll be too bad. What I might do is I might, um, I might only do that, per se. Yeah, I still need to get this, in, this uh, input as well. It's going to be interesting. Yeah, we could do like the bottom. Oh, we can't do. Okay. Oh no, we can't. We can do. We got this. So yeah, we'll do this. Acting a little odd to you. Oh, because we're only using the one. We use the other. That looks like that. Well, it's fine. <laughs> it does look a little bit odd, yes. I will agree. Um, but uh, that's really not the best I can do for right now. Given given the circumstances, we can we can say that's okay. <laughs> now we'll do a five. Oh, this needs to have a merger on it, I think. Yeah, this is gonna have to have a merger, like actually on it somehow, and then somehow still go out, go into the next station. I suppose what we could do is do that, uh, but then So, this belt and this belt don't matter. I know what I might do though. For those specific ones. We'll wait for this autosave. Okay. That should have finished it. The autosave keeps messing me up. It's, uh, it's actually kind of annoying. <laughs> Let's go in there. Ooh. Mm. Oh, yeah. How am I gonna do that? It's conveyor belt four. So we got that one. See, this one's gonna be there. And this one's gonna be there. We still got this. We still got this. Oh, whoops. <laughs> That's not what I meant. That one goes there. This one goes here. Okay. And now it's flowing in to that station. So then we do a five. We do a five. Yeah. Two. This, one, two. And over here. Okay. We 
run this one, these ones all the way along. I think this is too too tall, isn't it? Let's see. And this will give us room to do like conveyor lift on this. Yeah, because one's going to be coming in from this side, and one's going to be coming in from this side, so there'll be enough room to run like a like a conveyor belt style. It's actually not so bad. Right there. Actually, it kind of looks like it goes underneath. Eh. That's fine. I'm not going to harp on it too much, because, man, we'll be here all day if I do. But yeah, then the next one, uh, the conveyor lift, can go out here, like up against this other one. I think that's at that level, isn't it? So that one, and then this, that'll go into here. Then we'll do another one. Like just over the top. Or should we go up this way? We should probably... So that one's there. So then one... Two. Yeah, we'll go that high. Oh wait, we gotta go over trains. Yeah. So we, we do need to be up that high. Okay. And then that'll go in there, that'll go, this one will come in there, and then combine with that. And, uh, yeah. Um, I'll probably, I might, I might just put down the miners and, and hook up the belts. Uh, this time because next time we should probably focus on getting the next station built um, But I think uh, a little bit over time, but uh, We'll call this one. We'll call this one here. So that is going to be it for this episode of Satisfactory. We're starting to mine uh, bauxite, which is awesome uh, So yeah, and we'll get that figured out um, And we'll do stations next time but uh, like I said, that's going to be it. So I do hope you enjoyed, even with my little bit of uh, a little bit of rant on seven days uh, and uh, whatnot. <laughs> but uh, yeah, like I said, that's going to be it. So again, I do hope you enjoyed. And until next time, I guess it's a goodbye.